ruler of the nations, King of kings and Lord of lords, the Holy One, the Righteous One. You are the King of the earth. All nations belong to you. And you were the one addressed in the first 1606 charter that opened English settlement to these shores. It was you that was addressed that the gospel of Jesus Christ should be the central focus of every settlement. It was you our forefathers knelt to erecting a wooden cross on the sandy shores of Virginia. It was you that was addressed in the Mayflower Compact whose first words were in the name of God, Amen. It was you the pilgrims knelt to and blessed the God of Heaven. It was you that Governor Winthrop wrote, we shall be a city set upon a hill. It is you, Lord God, that brought William Penn and modeled peace with the first people. It was you, Lord God, that brought the black regiment of preachers to all across the continent to preach your words, to prepare your people to be able to stand for liberty. And it was you that was addressed in the Declaration of Independence as the creator, as the author of all unalienable rights. It was you, Lord God, that was declared as the one who created all equal. And it was you, Lord God, who called us to account when we broke the treaties with the first peoples. You called us to repentance. And you, O oh God, called us to repentance when we did not live up to our creed and we did not treat everyone as equal. But Lord, we found out that you are a God of forgiveness. You are a God of covenant. You are a God of restoration. You are a God of healing. And you have healed us. And you are healing us. And we come now to the mall in Washington. And we come to you in humble repentance for the shedding of innocent blood. And we come to you in repentance for not modeling marriage among your people. And we come to you once again asking for healing for restoration, for recovery, and for reconciliation. And we know you'll do it because your God and your Son, Jesus Christ, is the eternal Redeemer, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And so we honor you for your word declares you will Christ's name, and for the advance of your kingdom, we once again 